you know, I was talking to some people the other day, and I, I keep hearing more and more people uh, getting the landline telephones taken out of their house and depending solely on their uh, smartphones. I think it's the biggest mistake you could ever make. Uh, what was it, a couple weeks ago? Was it AT&T uh, or uh, one of the phone companies had a major phone outage? And uh, I think we're cutting our own throats. You know, I've been around telephones, and I'm sorry for the traffic noise. I've been around uh, uh, landlines. In the old days, we called them landlines. I guess I still do. You know, your home phone. I'm not talking about your smartphone. Your regular home, if you still got one, your regular home phone. I've been around them since I was a little boy. Now, uh, my grandma always had a phone. And we got a, we got a phone in 1976. And why we waited is that my dad didn't want the bill. And uh, so we would, uh, to make a phone call, we'd have to drive uh, all the way to Hopkinsville. We lived uh, in Loveland. We lived approximately four miles from Mainville. And Hopkinsville is two or three more, two miles farther. Uh, I think it'd be north. And, of course, it's built up now. But back in those days, uh, there was a store on the right. And there was a pay phone. And I think my dad just got tired of driving a round trip of nearly 10 miles just to use the pay phone. So, in 1976, we got a, a phone put in the house. Landline. And in my experience, and that's been what... Uh, well, 13, it's been nearly 50 years, and they're virtually fail proof. I've only, our phone's only been out over the years, just a couple times, just a very few times. You know, you, I mean, you'd have to take down the whole pole. I mean, it just, a landline, it's virtually fail proof. And in my lifetime, there's never been a reason to take, there's never been a real threat to them. They've always worked 99.99% .99 of the time. Now, in 2024, I think the world has got more stupid. We're always dependent. Now, first of all, your house is your kingdom. That's your palace. And I think the landline phone belongs in a house. That's part of the American way. Not the, not the technology, smartphones. That's not the American way. The landline is. And I think to take that out, you're cutting your own throat. Uh, I don't know why people want to so solely uh, depend on their smartphones. I don't understand that. When they can easily go out, they, you know, the hacking and all this nine yards. I just don't understand why you would want to take... Uh, I hear all the excuses. I don't want the extra bill. It's always an excuse. I get tired of excuses. They don't work for me. I still think you're making a mistake taking your landline out of your house. I think you're making a, personally, I think you're making a huge mistake. You know, keep your smartphone. But I think when you take it out of your house, you're making a huge mistake. Now, in my house, as long as a service provider would allow me, would uh, allow or have ser service where you can keep a landline in the phone, I'm sorry, keep a landline in your house, I would definitely 100% keep a landline telephone in my house. 
100%. You know, you know, my mom did not raise, did not raise a fool. I'm not as stupid as I look. I think you're just cutting your own throat. I think to take a landline out of the house is the biggest part of stupidity I've ever heard. And I've heard that I've heard people doing that about three or four times. Or I should just say I've heard three or four people doing that. And I'm thinking, how stupid can you be? You know, you're complaining about a bill, but yet when you order pizza, I don't hear you complaining about that. Here you're complaining about a landline phone bill. You turn the ride around and you order $30 in pizza. And you don't think, where, where's the sense in that? There's no smart in that. I mean, it's stupid to, 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 do, to, to, to uh, do it that way. I mean, uh, you, know, you hear people... This one guy come in about, I don't know, four or five days ago in the library. He didn't cuss, but he was bitching. He, he, I'm amazed the manager didn't tell him to quiet down. He was talking real loud on his smartphone. Bitching at the, he was nice, but he was bitching at the, uh, at his phone company for something. And I'm thinking, I, you know, it just, I don't know, this world... It just does everything ass backwards. It just, I don't know why in the hell you would want to take your lion line out of your house. I don't understand that. That's part of the American way. Since I was a little boy, I've been around telephones. And by the way, when we got a phone in our house in 1976, it was rotary. I didn't see a touch tone or a push button, push button phone. Oh, it was probably 80 or 81 when I first seen my first uh, push button phone. Uh, even the pay phone in Hopkinsville was rotary. But my grandma always had a, a, a rotary phone. And, you know, she had a little desk in her living room and a black rotary phone set on that desk. And you could sit there and dial it and talk to whoever you wanted to but she always had a phone you know that's you know since i was a little boy so we're talking about uh i've been around phones for 53 54 years long as i can remember i remember playing with my grandma's phone <laughs> but as far as failure huh Hardly any at all. Nothing. I don't recall anything widespread to make the world news. And you're de you're dependent on it. You're dependent on technology that can be hacked and totally fall apart. Where's this? Where's the sense in that, people? You, I thought you were smarter than that. I guess, you know, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer either. But I'm not that stupid. I just don't understand why people want to rely on something that can be easily hacked. Just stupidity. <laughs>